Na 24 godziny przed galą w Bełchatowie, Fajte Serena 8, jest z nami DJ Linderman. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, how's it going? Uh, it's fine, thank you. Uh, for my first question is uh, about your trip to Poland. You just came by and w when exactly did you came? I got here uh, Monday afternoon, um, it, or Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. And, uh, you know, it was a long trip, but uh, I got settled in pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And what about the jet lag? I ask every American guy who comes here about jet lag. You know, jet lag hasn't bothered me yet. It usually comes a few days later. Um, it, I, I'm right on schedule. You know, I go to bed on time and everything, so I'm real good. Mm -hmm. I've seen you guys at the wedding with Michal, we, uh, with Michal Kita, and you seem pretty relaxed. You're now uh, chilling out here. You, you've been at jacuzzi. So uh, is it, you know, you just feel uh, very calm. And uh, after you saw Michal, what do you think about him? You know, um, he, he's a you know he's a big fighter, tough fighter, and uh, you know I always come into these fights uh, relaxed. You know, I don't want to overamp myself or anything like that. I, I want to be cool, calm, and collective coming into this fight, be clear-headed. Mm -hmm. You probably did some research about me. How what do you think about him as a fighter? I, I think he's a you know a strong guy coming into this. Uh, he likes to brawl. He has some great kicks, and uh, um, I have to counter that by taking him to the ground. Uh, you know, and not getting into his game of brawling. Did you see his last fight at Fighters Arena? And yeah, yeah, I did see that. Um, I, I thought it was a, a great fight for him. Um, I, I see him fighting other great fighters. Um, this day isn't going to be his day, though. Mm -hmm. Can you share us uh, the, the story about your first contact with Fighters Arena? Um, I, I got contacted uh, to fight Michael Kidda, and he's a Bellator veteran like myself and uh, I, I I watched a few of his fights and her, I knew who he was so I knew it was in a great and it'd be a great war mm, as you said you had some fights at Bellator and also the World Series of fighting and and some other uh, good fights so what stage of uh, your career are you at right now you know uh, I believe I still have uh, a great deal left in my career I, I don't plan on being done until I'm about 36 years old. Right now I'm 29 and uh, I have a great future in this. Mm -hmm. And could you tell me who exactly do you train with uh, in California? Um, I train at a Do Something Athletics, which is um, Tommy Davis's gym. Um, we've been together for the last eight years and we, that's who I've trained with. And uh, any anything uh, specific you saw about me, how he's strongest and the weakest point you could share? I feel he's weak on his back. He, he's good with his ground and pound um, on the on the feet. If he gets into the brawl, um, I'm able to use technique and use it to my advantage. Mm -hmm. And is there any uh, anything special you did for uh, for the preparation for this fight? You know, just uh, my cardio push in my cardio I know his breaks you know into later into each round and uh, I, I just high intense with the training mask that's uh, something I really use hard mm -hmm. uh, and last question any prediction for this fight when and how I believe it's gonna be uh, second third round TKO and uh, in my favor D did you know before the fight because they they made it uh, official uh, about the belt? Did you uh, did you ma did you knew it uh, before the fight? No, no, uh, I didn't know. Uh, in my contract, it stated nothing about it, and uh, I seen it on the internet. Uh, I seen the picture, and I, I translated it um, as I was on there, and it said uh, a title fight between Michael Kidda and DJ Linderman, and I called my manager up and was like, hey, did you know this? And he was like, no. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it was a short notice still on the title fight. And we need to, obviously, we need to ask uh, all the heavyweights here uh, about upcoming UFC 160. There's uh, also, it's, it's going to be night of uh, heavyweights. We have uh, JDS uh, versus Mark Hunt. What's your prediction? I see JDS knocking Mark Hunt out, uh, getting him real tired, and then just knocking him out. And uh, Velasquez versus Bigfoot too? Uh, you know, that's going to be a, a good fight. Whoever connects first, that's going to be the winner right there. Great. There you go. Thank you once again. Thanks.